Okay, today we're going to show you how to repair a cast iron manifold. Uh, this manifold's off of a Ford Model T. It's about 100 years old. We had a crack in the right flange here. This is an intake manifold. We're going to preheat the manifold. I've already done a little bit before we got started. I want to bring this up to temperature all the way through the piece. We're going to preheat it. I'm going to use a pure cast iron rod to make the repair. So what we're going to do is, I want to get everything warm and then I want to get this red hot and I actually want to get the casting to start to flow. So we're going to preheat this up. When it gets up to temperature, you'll see the manifold start to melt. The natural rod I'm going to use is a pure natural cast iron rod. We had this rod actually poured for us in Grand Rapids, Michigan. And now we can get a nice natural weld on the manifold and it'll expand and contract with the heat. So we're getting hot right now. I'm using a cobalt blue lens glass so I can get rid of the orange sodium flare. All right. You're going to see, I'm going to start getting this nice and hot. It's going to start to flow. There, she's starting to flow right now. And we'll be able to make a nice pass going right across this casting. There it goes. Very natural to the material. Now this will become machinable. We can machine it, drill it, tap it. If we had to replace an ear on here, we could uh, build that ear up, drill it out, put it on the lathe or uh, put it on the uh, bridge port, machine it out. If you need a little more flux, just take your rod and re-dip it in there. Come right back to your surface. Get your material to flow. Make sure your manifold, the base metal is flowing when you add your filler. The filler will flow right in. And I'm letting that melt right into the manifold itself and it'll become one. All right, we've completed that weld. It's a nice clean weld. I just happened to stick the tip down inside the uh, casting, cause it to pop off. But as you can see now, if that's a little bit below the surface, I actually can build that up without a problem. And we can put a coating right down. So let me do a real quick pass on it one more time. We're going to get it to start to melt again. I'm going to add a rod right on top of it. Now we can naturally let this rust out. Some guys use a peening hammer or a uh, what I'll call a slag hammer that the arc welders use. It's got a bunch of needles in it, actually makes the uh, surface look rough. Or you can take some heavy 40 grit sandpaper upside down and pound it against it. Makes it a nice clean uh, finish. Now I'm gonna just post heat just a little bit, just to slow down the cooling and give us a real nice soft, what we call a kneeled well because we've used a torch. And this will allow this to expand and contract, heat and cool every time you want to without getting a crack in it. Won't be anything like your nickel rods that use your arc welders and your TIG welding. This will be a nice, soft, easy to work well. There we go, we're just gonna let it cool down now. Just let it sit naturally and let it cool. We'll be able to clean that up and take a look at it later on.